Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. That's my sign language there for for what I just said. I, I thought I'd go ahead and tell you since it was kind of difficult to figure that out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do some chest pressing and some uh, legs. Uh, so we call that legs and chest or chest and legs. And uh, starting out with 95 here, I'm going to bore you to death with two warm-up sets of 95. And, uh, yeah, like, I, you know, I try to tell you all the time that our warm-up sets are just as important as any set we're going to do. It kind of sets the foundation uh, for, for everything to come. And uh, I don't mind showing one warm-up set, but I didn't mean to show two. But, uh, yeah, you're going to get two warm-up sets. So, and that's 95 pounds, by the way, for those who don't know. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to do another set here of uh, some boring, you know, reps of this. And, uh, anyway, so, I'm kind of noticing uh, a drop in my strength, a drop in my uh, enthusiasm here lately. And, uh, you know, that happens. And uh, whether or not it sticks or not, you know, I have no idea at this point. Um, you know, we all go through the typical burnout, and then we all feel at times, you know, whenever we've reached our limits, you know, it kind of slows you down a little bit. And plus, when you have injuries, like, uh, like I do with my right arm, you know, that kind of slows things down a little bit, too, and takes a little bit of that spunk out of your workout. And, uh, you know, things happen, guys. Um, you know, if I never get to go heavy, any heavier, or do anything great again, uh, I'm okay. I guess I'm okay with it. You know, uh, I had a goal of hitting a 405 pound bench or 400, whichever. Uh, but that five pounds counts. Um, you know, I had a, a goal of getting that, and I don't know if I'm going to or not. Uh, if I do, great. If I don't, great. Uh, I know I've given it my all, and I did technically get a 380 pound press, but my son screwed it up and dumped the weights, and uh, that was a fiasco. Uh, but technically, I was just about to lock out and put the bar on the uprights, so and my son touched the bar for whatever reason, and off everything went. It was a big, crazy mess. So, you know, if I never reach 400 or 405, then I guess that's the way it is. You know, I didn't reach a 405 pound squat. Not a good squat. I mean, I can do a crappy squat. I can do a big squat with 405. But uh, to do a, a what I consider a decent, proper-ish squat, I've stopped kind of at 365. I might get 375. But, uh, you know, and I've done my shoulder presses. I've beat those goals with my shoulder presses. I've even tackled the 100 pound dumbbells and done multiple, multiple workouts with the 100 pounds doing shoulder presses, which is insane. So, uh, you notice I went up to uh, 355 today. Uh, last week, remember, I tried to go to 365 and I just kind of had a moment and I thought, no, nope, I don't need to do that. So, I just did a bunch of sets of singles with 335. Well, I felt pretty decent today, so I went ahead and I went up to 355. And now we're going to work our way back down. This is 300 pounds. That's 2.5s on the ends there. And uh, I have done 8 reps plenty of times, and I've even hit 10 reps here. But today we're only going to hit 7, which I guess overall, I guess I'm not going to complain. You know, a lot of people would love to be able to do 7 reps with 300 pounds. But, you know, I'm just one shy of making myself happy. And uh, I thought about trying to press it out and struggle through it, but, you know, with no spotter here, I decided not to do it. Uh, sometimes we can rest for that second with our, you know, with the, the weight over us and, and uh, get that extra rep. But, and sometimes it's, it's best to just kind of relax. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't want to push it too hard. So we're working our way back down, of course, and this is 225. And, uh, I think I get 12 here, which is pretty good for a little burnout. I have gotten as many as 21, 22, something like that. So, again, and here I'm doing something crazy, and I'm showing you there. 
my last set, I decided I'm going to go back up to 315 and really shock my system. And, uh, yeah, so I'm glad I did that. Just for the fun of it, you know? Don't forget to have fun. And uh, that's kind of what this was. It was just a spur of the moment. You know what? I'm going to go back up and shock my body real quick. So I did two reps. I'm okay with that. Uh, 315, I have done, I think, seven reps, eight reps, maybe seven, something like that. So now we're on the Smith Machine Squats. Um, I swear by these, and for someone like myself who's horrible at free weight squats, uh, I'm getting better at them. I'm getting a lot better at them. But someone who's not great at them, uh, this machine here allows you to really get to depth without having to worry about that dumping of the weights. You just have to focus and, uh, you know, try to press it as if though you're really pressing free weights because there's a couple of ways to for your mind and your body to kind of work while you're doing these on a Smith machine. And one way kind of seems like it taxes my back a little bit more, and the other way seems like it does uh, a little less of that. So I try to keep focused on more of doing free weight squats while I'm doing this. And that uh, seems to help out a little bit. Oddly enough, it's just, uh, it's kind of the way that you contract and kind of do your, your back and your legs and your body and everything when you go down, you know, at the bottom there. Uh, and just making sure you try to keep focused and uh, not take it too lightly just because you're on a machine because this machine will kick your butt. Uh, especially going down nice and deep like I'm going. It's a, uh, it's a total different ball game than uh, just going parallel even. Uh, going uh, ATG uh, really, really, uh, yeah, it really works you out. It, it's a whole different thing. So, and uh, keep in mind this, this weight on the Smith machine is actually 12 pounds heavier than it would be if it was your, you know, your typical, you know, Olympic bar and free weight squat. So this is actually uh, 147. The bar and uh, the little carriage that it's attached to, the, you know, see the tube that slides on the uh, guide rod there, that's all connected and so that all weighs uh, 57 pounds on its own, the bar and that carriage. So it's actually, uh, it, makes, uh, it makes the weights come out to 12 pounds heavier than what you would normally say. If this was free weights, that'd be 135. So actually it's, with this, it's 147. And, uh, yeah, so we go up again. Pretty good little weight right here. I'm pretty happy with what I do today. Uh, again, I'm not doing anything crazy with reps, you know. Uh, I think the longer you're under the weight, I think sometimes the worse it is. And, uh, especially if you've got a bad back and bad shoulders, trying to hold that bar like that is not comfortable. But overall, it's a fantastic workout. And uh, I'll never have a gym without a Smith machine because uh, it, it's just that good. It's just that it's that needed, in my opinion. And uh, anything you can do with a free weight, you can do on the Smith. And uh, so it's good to do both, you know, both variations from time to time with different movements and stuff. So here we're going up to 327. Now, if it was free weights, it'd be 315. But on here, of course, it's uh, 12 more pounds. So uh, I feel pretty good here. I wasn't exactly sure just kind of how my day is going and how I feel and stuff. I wasn't totally sure. But I pushed through it. I got, I got pretty good. And uh, this last set here, guys, we're going to go down to... 147 again and uh, just push out a few reps and, uh, yeah anyway guys you know uh, we're kind of going through some ups and downs here and things happen in, in our lives and with our bodies and our minds and everything and sometimes you know I don't know sometimes things just happen so you know I'm gonna keep pushing I'm gonna keep trying and I want y'all to do the same thing in your lives and whatever it is that you're doing Keep, uh, keep trying your best and, you know, maybe you'll push, you know, maybe you'll push through the old, uh, funk. So, uh, 
you know, we'll get this last set done, and uh, we'll get the workout done with. And uh, tomorrow's deadlifts and possibly shoulders or whatever body part I choose to do. It'll probably be shoulders if I can make myself. I'm trying not to push my shoulders too hard because, you know, my right shoulder's all boogered up. So, anyway, getting some good reps here, working them legs out good. Guys, if I inspire you just a little bit to do something in life that's good and positive and awesome, working out or walking or doing some sort of sports and activities or photography, drawing, cleaning the house, planting a garden, I don't care what it is. Maybe uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down and uh, while you're at it, get up, get out, get red and do it to it. We'll see you next time guys on the body beat down. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get around and do it to